When you stand in front of a room full of people or stare into that non-blinking black eye of your camera and all you can focus on is your heart pounding and those horrible squirting noises in your gut along with the urge to run to the bathroom while sweat is dripping from every pore in your body, your hands shake so hard you can't even take a sip of water and you find it hard to breathe. Ah, don't worry about it. That's just the anxiety of the fear of speaking in public and you're not alone, although you kind of are. The good news is that after watching this video, you're going to have and be able to start using four proven and practical methods to reduce and possibly eliminate your anxiety of speaking in front of people to deliver a speech, record a video, or go live online. Make sure to pay extra close attention to the fourth method that I was taught and used when I was in the radio biz as an honor talent that could be the number one difference in you overcoming your anxiety in your future presentations. After having taught these four methods to over a thousand students who delivered over 2,000 speeches, I can honestly tell you that not one student ever died of embarrassment from severe fear of public speaking. There was one faint, a couple of walkouts, dozens of frozen blank stares like a deer caught in the headlights, and hundreds of sweating nervous speakers who all survived. If they were able to work through and overcome their fears and anxieties of public speaking using these methods, I'm sure you can too. The first method is called systematic desensitization. That involves repeating something often enough so that the more you do it, the easier it becomes, especially in public speaking. This method is highly recommended to help overcome anxieties and phobias that only takes three simple steps that focuses on relaxation, visualization, and practical exercises. The first step is to learn how to practice to get into a relaxed state before arriving to deliver your speech or before you hit record. This means do not focus on your stress, but on calming your breathing and boosting your positive energy. There are so many ways to do this that it will take an entire video to go through just some of the top techniques. But for now, the quickest and easiest way to help you get into a great mood and enhance your calm is just to listen to some of your favorite music. The second step is to then visualize yourself successfully delivering and completing small parts or chunks of your speech with an actual smile on your face that also helps to boost your positive energy and attitude. Finally, engage in presentation delivery activities that are slightly more anxiety producing to get your mind and body accustomed to the stress and adrenaline that comes from nervousness. This doesn't mean standing on the edge of a cliff or letting something crawl or slither on you that you're deathly afraid of. Start with something simple, such as delivering your introduction to yourself in a mirror. One of the more popular ways that I promote is to turn on your camera and use selfie mode to talk to yourself to see what and how you do. After that, work your way up to delivering your entire presentation to a friend who won't destroy you. And if you're brave enough, deliver your presentation in front of your family. The second method is called cognitive restructuring. This helps you to acknowledge and become more aware of what makes you anxious or what you're afraid of, and then aims to change the way you think about it in just four steps. This is done by creating a negative self-talk statement list, so you can then analyze each of those negative statements to develop coping statements. Then you can start practicing those coping statements to make real change in how you support and talk to yourself in a positive way. An all too common negative statement that I heard a lot was, everybody's gonna know I'm nervous. How do you know that? You know you're nervous, but what's in your head is not necessarily what shows up in your outside. You can be totally melting down inside, but if you have some or at least decent eye contact, show at least a smile, hopefully an engaging smile, cut out the nervous giggles and deliver just as you practiced. Nobody except an expert is going to know. This is why practicing with selfie mode is so important. So you can see that what you're feeling and thinking is not actually what's showing. If this helps you, think about this. Fake it until you make it. The third method in overcoming and reducing your anxiety and fear of speaking in front of people is to prepare, 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 and then practice, practice, practice. So that when it's time to complete your speech or video, it's just another advanced practice session. Dedicated and purposeful practice is one of the most successful techniques for reducing anxiety and improving your public speaking experiences. And occasionally asking for a little or a lot of coaching is also a good idea. 
Speaking of coaching and good ideas, if you think my coaching is helping you up your public speaking game, let me know with a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel to show your support for what I do. Thanks. I truly appreciate it. Here's that fourth and final tip I promised you. Think of public speaking or a video recording session as having a conversation with just one person, not as a performance in front of a room full of people or possibly hundreds of people staring at you while you speak on stage. Talk to that one person just like I'm talking with you now. Even in a live online event, think of just one person sitting there with you. For a recording session, try this. Cut out a picture of one person who you feel comfortable talking with and tape their photo next to the lens. That way, you can look into their eyes and start to feel more relaxed with a friendly face who is intently listening to every word you say in a supportive way that also can help you feel not so alone. Give these methods a serious effort and you'll start to feel your anxiety and fear of speaking in front of people start to diminish. To learn more ways on how to improve and master your communication skills, watch this video on your screen next or follow the link in the description. To be nervous about speaking in front of people is normal. It's what you do to focus that nervous energy into positive energy that can make you an awesome speaker and excellent communicator. I'll see you online soon.